Hi, I'm Connor with Render Rocket, and today I'm going to be showing you how to upload your first project and submit a test render. From the Mission Control window, the first thing you're going to do is go to the Projects tab in the top bar. Once there, click on the Add New Project in the top right. A window will appear, and you'll want to fill in the box with the desired name of your project. Once done, simply click on the empty box and it will create a name for the FTP directory. We'll cover that in another video that will be linked below. Click on the Save button and your project will be created and put into the Projects window. Now that we have created a project folder, click on the project name that you have created and go down to the right in the File Management window. From here, click on the Upload button with the green plus sign. A new window will appear and you will see a Select button. Click on that and you will be brought to your File Explorer. Select the files from your scene and make sure you have all files. Even one missing file most likely results in a failed render. This includes textures, light caches, animation caches, and reference scenes. Another thing to remember is your file type. We have a large list inside the box that you can refer to, but if you have a file type that is not listed, you will have to upload the file via the FTP which we will cover in another video and is linked below. Once you have your file selected and the dot is turned green, you have to scroll down and click on the Upload button. If it was successful, you should now see all your files listed in the Explorer. From here, you simply right-click on the zip folder and click on Extract. Give it a few moments to complete, and once done, you should see all your files in the window. You are now ready to submit your first test render. Now that you have your project folder, let's click on the Launch Render tab in the top bar. You should see three bars, and the first one is the Select Your Project. Click on this, and then select the name of the project you want to submit. This will unlock the second option, where you will select your scene that you are going to render. Finally, the last option will be to select your render engine. Make sure it matches the version of the software you created the scene for the best results. Once everything has been selected, you will be brought to a new page where you will be inputting your desired settings for the output. For test mode, select the mode where you will have to choose between the standard and test. You will want to select test for this. Test mode is limited to 5 frames, but this can be any variation of frames so long as the total number of frames is 5 or below. You can enter frames in a range or specify individual frames. Since we're limited to 5 frames for a test, let's enter in 1-3, hit the spacebar, 10, spacebar, 20. So I'll render the first 3 frames and a couple frames from later in the scene. You'll see other options like camera, where you can define any specific camera in your scene, layers, which you can turn on and off as you please, resolution, where you can define the size of the frame output that you want to have, output name, where you can name the frame sequences, and finally, notifications, where you can input an email to be sent once a render has completed. In the image output box, you will see options that are limited to the test render option. In a normal job, you will have more options like .exr and other advanced file types. You may see a process called scene analysis running uh, or failing in your window that is completely normal and it does not prevent you from rendering. Once everything has been input to your liking, you will scroll down and select the I agree to the terms. Make sure to read this very carefully. Once complete, you will click on launch and the render begins. When your render is complete, you will go to the render history tab where you will see all the current and past renders that you have done. Select the mission that is completed and it will bring you to the mission details page. If everything has gone correctly, you will see all the frames with previews as well as the times and logs with each one. In the top right, you should see a package with the name of the project and a download link to retrieve the completed frames in .rar format. You now have your frames and you are all set to composite. If the frames don't appear, you can always download the raw files via the FTP which is covered in another video linked below. Thanks for watching. If you have any further questions, email us at support at Happy rendering!